I trust, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hates. Jesus loves you? I'm not so sure about that. The Bible says otherwise. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. But the wicked, God doesn't love the wicked. If you're one of those pastors or you have a pastor that says, Jesus loves you, and that's their church, the church model, mm -hmm. is that everyone is loved. Jesus loves everybody. It's not true. The Bible says otherwise. And those who will not warn the wicked from their evil way, the blood of the wicked will be on their hands. It's not a popular message, but Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent means to turn around. How do you turn around from your wicked ways? By the grace of God. The grace of God has appeared to every man, teaching us to deny ungodliness, worldly lusts, to live sober and holy in this present world, this present adulterous and perverse generation of vipers. We're supposed to live holy. How can we? By the grace of God, through the Holy Spirit, by the blood and the will of the Father. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. That's the power of Christ. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The evidence of the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not only speaking in tongues, prophesying, and living a holy life. The evidence is you are a priest unto God. You are a son of God. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. And in Christ is no sin. There is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free, us being the elect of God, has made us free from the bondage of sin and death. So sin should no longer have dominion over us. The good that we would, we do. And the evil that we would not, we don't do. Because of the power of Christ in us. Isn't that marvelous? We don't have to live under sin anymore. Because when Jesus said, it is finished, he did a complete salvation to save us and translate us from the powers of darkness into his marvelous light, wherein dwells righteousness. I love the word of God. It feeds my soul every day. It is the bread of life. It is the truth of God.